Hi Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information. And all that information is in the description box. Also, because it is general, that means that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see. What is going on with Leo for the first half of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? So for the situation, we have the King of Swords crossed by the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's a situation here. I feel like this might be you, could be your person. Um, somebody's trying to make a decision. Somebody is trying to be determined to take action in a specific direction. However, they're not sure of how to actually go about it. I feel like there's a lot of distractions maybe, a lot of alternatives, a lot of possibilities, or just possibly thinking about a lot of different consequences that might take place if this were to happen. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Five of Cups, and for the near future, we have the King of Cups. Okay, so, first of all, there's a lot of water here. You might be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be, could be an air sign as well. Um, Something has happened here in the recent past where that brought a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow, a lot of grief. It could possibly be an ending or maybe just some kind of a fallout or some kind of a realization. Whatever the case, there's a lot of sadness, okay, that I feel like was present in the um, very recently here. There's a lot of love, though, that is coming up. It could be that this person is coming in. Um... We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see your energy here. We have the lovers. For them, we have the two of wands. More about you. We have the eight of pentacles. For them, we have the eight of swords. And potential outcome here is the five of swords. All right. Okay, Leo. <laughs> what is going on here? There's definitely a lot of love here, okay, between you and another person. Um, you're definitely feeling this connection a lot. Um, I feel like you you have put in a lot of effort as well to this connection. However, this person, I feel like it's this person that is the one trying to make a decision here, okay, because they have the two of wands and it feels like because they have a lot of distractions or because they're confused as to what the consequences might be, they're, they've been stalling a little bit. It feels like they have what it takes in order to make a move, in order to actually go through with a plan that I do feel they have a plan in their minds, um, but they just haven't really acted on it yet. And it's because they have this sense of, it's like they're feeling doomed almost, like, it's almost as if they feel like any alternative they make, it's going to backfire or there's going to be a lot of negative consequences no matter what they choose to do. It's like, damned if I do, damned if I don't. It's that kind of a mentality. I do see love though showing up here um, in, the, in the near future. So we'll see when we clarify. And I will see what that Five of Swords is when we clarify as well. I don't want to speak too soon. So let's let's get into this. The Five of Swords can oftentimes be... Um, I usually see it as a negative card, but it can sometimes be positive. It really just depends on the situation, like if someone is a people pleaser, I actually see the Five of Swords as being positive because that would be the person um, really beginning to stand up for themselves and putting themselves first. But we'll see. Okay, so let's clarify the King of Swords with the Seven of Cups. All right. 
right. Wow. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Cups. Okay. So there could definitely be another um, connection here, another commitment. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be work. It could be a situation. It could be even somebody just, um, you know, studying, you know, going to university. It could, it could be anything. Possibly, I feel like for some of you, it could definitely be a workaholic. Um, and for others of you, this could definitely be um, something as strong as a marriage or just a high level commitment here, okay, that that's in this situation. And there's a lot of confusion about this. A lot of scenarios forming in this person's mind, a lot of illusions as to what would happen if I do this, what would happen if I do that. Um, possibly for a lot of them, it's um, cultural standards societal programming as to what it means to be successful or anything along those lines I feel like that has been an issue at the moment at least there's a lot of options here a lot of I feel like this person is overthinking a lot just had the tower flip over as well so it could definitely be that this person is having a crisis because they're overthinking all of the options and all of the different possible consequences of taking action. Let's, I don't always clarify the past energy, but let's actually see this Five of Cups. The King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Alright, so maybe one of you has taken some kind of action. Um, I actually don't really feel like that's the case, um, but it could be for some of you that maybe you have taken action and um, pretty much separated yourself from this situation to an extent detached maybe, um, and this has brought a lot of grief, possibly for you, definitely for the other person. Um, for others of you, I feel like it's it's this lack of action, this lack of determinism for this. And I actually feel like this is more of your person's energy rather than yours. Definitely could be yours as well. But what I'm getting here is that this person recently has begun to feel very sad, very pessimistic. Like I said, they're the ones that are in this mentality of damned if I do, damned if I don't. Um, feeling very sad about the fact that they have not taken this step in order to make themselves a little bit more independent, to be more self-reliant or to be more available. It's almost as if this person does not feel independent. They do not feel like they can actually get what they want, be who they are, fully express themselves independently as their unique and authentic self. And because of that, they feel like they do not have abundance in their life. At the same time, it could also be, because I, I am kind of picking this up for you, the Leo, as well, that you might be feeling like, like you also want to detach from this, but again, feeling like that would be going against what you truly feel because we do have the lovers here. Let me clarify, kind of jumping ahead of myself. All right, we have justice and we have the page of cups. Yeah, see, so this is what I was picking up on. Um, you're feeling like this connection, it just feels like this is your person. It just feels like this is right. It feels like this is, to you, this is what justice is, <laughs> which doesn't really make much sense because you can't really be the judge of that when it comes to connections. But this is just how it feels to you. And so, therefore, you know, if you were to move away from this connection, you almost feel like it, w it just feels so unfair. It feels unfair and it doesn't feel right because you do have so much emotion for this person and you just feel like, you know, this is just where your heart belongs. Let me see the Eight of Pentacles. The 
Eight of Pentacles again. And the King of Cups. Yeah, you know, I feel like you've done what you could. You've put in a lot of effort trying to show your love to this person or just trying to maybe even trying to fix the connection in some way, maybe even trying to, you know, if you felt like there was something that you needed to apologize for or there was something maybe that you feel you may have done wrong for some of you, okay, this isn't going to be for everybody, but just for some of you, if you feel like there was something that maybe you were not 100%, you know, um, fair about and it could be something very very small you know it could just have been maybe pressuring this person or you know just maybe giving too much of your opinion to this person to the point where you know it just wasn't serving them it could be anything okay it doesn't mean that it was with bad intentions i feel like whatever that was you've tried your best to either correct that to fix it or to just bring that into some kind of a balance so you've already done that and this is why you're feeling like things just feel unfair because then it doesn't feel like the other person is actually doing their own part here. It's like you, you feel like you've done your part, you know, what else can you do? And then you don't see the same kind of response from this other person. Again, that was just a message for some of you. Let's see the two of wands for them. All right, the sun, there's your sign. Uh, the five of wands and the four of cups. Yeah, this person is definitely depressed. So this just goes back to what I was saying when I said I feel like it's this person who is feeling a lot of grief, a lot of sorrow. It's being reinforced here. Um, not to say that you're all happy at the moment. Um, but I feel like this is mostly your person who is in a very pessimistic and depressed kind of an energy. And that's what I'm getting here. They're having a really hard time moving towards their happiness. They're feeling conflicted. And I do feel like there is a lot of external influence here by other people. Um, but at the same time, you know, they just don't want that anymore. This is them rejecting other offers or what other people have to say. What other people are giving them. What society is feeding them. This person really does want to go after after you, after their happiness. And I feel like this is something that they already know, right? They're already determined. This is they they know exactly what they want. They have the clarity over what they want. What's clouding up their minds are the overthinking about what would happen afterwards or just what would what would it take? What would it entail for them to actually take action on this? Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. The Four of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so there... They're being a little stubborn here. I feel like, you know, they're holding on to certain beliefs or a certain way of thinking that is what is holding them back, right? But this is something that they're moving away from. Okay, so yes, it might be that they're still overanalyzing and I do feel that currently they are. They are still feeling um, that sense of being doomed, that sense of being trapped, that sense of there being no way out. But they're discovering something here. That's what I'm getting with this magician. It's like discovering a power that they hold within, a power that they've been holding on to that they just have not allowed themselves to actually um, externalize and to actually use. And this is why they're moving away from that overthinking, okay? And this, this power, this control that I'm talking about here, that's what this Two of Wands is. Like I said, it's almost like, you know, they have this plan, they have this dream. It's like, you know, look at this image here, this woman holding on to, to the world. She's not even holding it. It's like she can actually, she has the power to, 
to make it, um, what's the word? Rise, like right above her. It's just a matter of actually using that power. And I feel like this is what this person is discovering, that they actually hold the key to making life a little bit less complicated. And that things don't have to be so complicated. Things can be a lot more simple. Moving towards that calmer water here. Leaving that overthinking behind. So I do feel like this is a process. I don't feel like this is happening overnight um, because I do see some stubbornness here. But ultimately, I feel like this is the direction that this person is heading in. Let's see the King of Cups. And yeah, then we have the King of Cups just had the Two of Wands show itself again. So it does appear to be that there is movement towards, um, towards love. Somebody following their heart here. The King of Cups. Yeah. The High Priestess. Following somebody's intuition. So this is definitely your person here, all right? Following their heart, following their intuition. Aligning with their higher self to guide them rather than overthinking, thinking, thinking and analyzing all of these possible scenarios that are mostly just illusions and delusions in their minds. So let's see what that Five of Swords is about. All right. Yeah, okay. So it is, I'm glad <laughs> to see this, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So because we are talking about a situation where there is external influence, like I said, I feel like, you know, um, societal programming, holding on to certain beliefs, making them, which is what is causing them to overthink. This is definitely a person who needs to stand up for their own self. And that's exactly what we get with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So this is definitely not um, a deceitful kind of an energy. This is somebody that, yes, will put themselves first at the cost of others. But in this particular case, it feels like it is something that is needed. Because this person is just thinking, about, is basically acting or has been acting based off of what society expects of them. And so this is what they actually need to go up against. Their own inner beliefs about that, which is actually, it's not their own. It's what has been influenced by the outside. Releasing ego. Putting up a block. to having to juggle between different energies that are outside of themselves and then what they're feeling in their intuition. And this is why we have the Eight of Cups moving away from that. Not only that, this is moving away from manipulation as well. Because I do get that for some of them, they are being um, manipulated in a way. So there's movement away from that and actually standing up for their own self and for their own beliefs, okay? Might take a little bit of time, but this is where, where things seem to be headed. All right, Leo, so if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And we have the full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. Take that as it resonates. I feel like this would actually apply to your person, but it could also be a message that you need to hear. You are good enough. All right, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.